How do things just keep getting worse for Blood Bowl 3? All like 100 other players got to be like shaking their heads at this point. They don't even know the major announcement that was just announced today, let alone cyanide themselves, because the only person that apparently knows it is GameSpot trailers. So either like the marketing department is out of sync with the community managers, or this is just like a mess up that they weren't supposed to announce season one because it's not all over their social media accounts. Like it's nowhere official other than a GameSpot trailer. But regardless, we finally have some information on season one. So we're going to dive into that. I'm going to link the GameSpot trailer down below. I'm going to drop all kinds of news. So if you're afraid of spoilers, there aren't really any spoilers. But obviously, this is very cosmetic based. And for some reason, I had to go inform the Discord that there was apparently a season one coming on June 22nd. And they just kind of pinned it to the main chat. But there's nothing in announcements. There's nothing on their Twitter page. And I know there's a major Warhammer thing going on today. So I was like, you know, maybe Games Workshop just has everyone by the by the balls, right? And they're like, no, you announce when we tell you to announce. But that doesn't make any sense because I saw other Games Workshop properties announcing at the same time it, it was announced during their main event. So the fact that Cyanide is a bit out of sync is just, I don't know. Like, I don't know if this announcement was intentional. I don't know if this is like an accident. I don't know if they just don't care. Maybe the guy has a random Thursday off. I mean, all of that is possible. But regardless, I'm going to read you to you. I'm going to read to you the description from the trailer because it's really important and there's a lot of words that I want you to listen to. So let's head on over there. It's not going to pop up. All right. Available June 22nd, the first competitive season will include new features, a competitive mode, a blood pass with 50 reward tiers, and a brand new faction. Drum roll. All right. The Lizard Men. The Season 1 Blood Pass, which includes the Lizardmen and a range of cosmetic items. So if you watch the trailer, you'll see all these cosmetic items can be unlocked for free by all players during the season. That's really the part of the sentence that I really want you to like focus on. So let's just read that over, over again. Can be unlocked for free by all players during now, here's the big part. During the season, FOMO, all right, fear of missing out, all 100 of us. As a reminder, Blood Bowl 3 is available on PC, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series S, X1, and Steam. Who knows where else it's available. So, okay, cool. We finally got some major news on Blood Bowl. We finally know the cosmetics that are coming out. We know the team. There's nothing official. It's coming June 22nd. They've had an extra... 20 32 months to kind of let this marinate and fix it up a bit obviously now let's take a big pause right here we really need to take a really 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 big pause right here you can't just push patches to console so whatever this season one is it's it's already complete like a few weeks early so to say they've had two months of two months of extra development time is possibly mostly false they've probably had maybe an extra two weeks and by how this announcement is going, <laughs> I can't but laugh. I guarantee they did not use that time wisely. So they probably had like an extra four hours. <laughs> let's just let's just be real, real quick. So obviously they're going to update the cosmetic shop. They're going to update the UI. They're going to do some bug fixes. They're going to introduce some new bugs. And the highlight of the trailer really was you get a new egg, which is a new football. That looks really cool. I'm not just going to like dog on everything they do. Like obviously the cosmetics. And it's just a CGI trailer. It's not a gameplay trailer, right? They're trying to get people to hyped up and buy it. So they just show a bunch of CGI act action, like non-in-game gameplay, because they don't know how to like make Blood Bowl look interesting outside of fake trailers. Either do I, but that's neither here nor there. So new cosmetics, they're going to be updated. I imagine hopefully we're going to get like a UI overhaul maybe, or at least fixed. They're probably going to include like a new tab maybe over here in the shop for your blood pass, something like lame like that. This home screen is going to change. It's going to have like blood pass on it. And knowing them, they're not going to include an instant button like where it just takes you straight to their blood pass. And then with all, I'm going to say blood pass once more or twice more, with all new battle passes or blood passes and the 50 rewards tiers, we got to know that there's going to be no creativity when making these challenges. All right. Like we, we just got to know that. We got to come into that expecting that there's going to be zero, absolutely zero creativity when it comes to these challenges. 
it's going to be like knock 50 orcs over and you're going to be forced to play a team that you don't even want to play just to get these challenges done um let's see if anyone's like hopped into our game ah dang bummer i don't even think this works so i don't even think the competitions work because i've never i've started three so that's just how it's going to be. So just expect just boring, bland, pointless challenges. Expect your dailies. Expect your weeklies. You know, get off work. Punch into Blood Bowl. Grind your weeklies. Grind your dailies. Go over to the forums and be like, they're bugged. They don't work. You didn't test them. Because that's all. I mean, it's the circle of life, right? It's the circle of challenges. We just saw this with Company of Heroes 3. And for some reason, some mind-boggling reason... They're going with the monetization launch, and it's just going to be so broken in my head. I don't know. In my head, it is going to be so broken, so unbelievably broken, that it's just going to collapse further in upon itself. I would say like a neutron star, because Blood Bowl's not big enough to like collapse in upon itself to become a black hole and just suck all other strategy games in around it. It's just going to collapse in upon itself into a small little neutron star and just sit there and just everyone's just going to go to Blood Bowl 2 because that's all it's going to do. They're just going to go over to the sun that's one galaxy away and be like, yo, what's up? We're here to play Blood Bowl 2. That's all that's going to happen. This was more ranting than I wanted it to be, um, but that's just the news that's going on. I'm just kind of angry that there's no – it's just out of sync. Like how are we out of sync with our marketing department on today? The big games workshop day. Like, what is going on over there? What is, like, someone answer me. I want an answer. Please, this doesn't make any sense. Like, why are we out of sync on today? Like, is it early? Did we accidentally announce early? Is GameSpot wrong? Is the manager just gone? Why are the mods pinning YouTube videos? Why is there no official trailer? Do you not have any content creators you can reach out to? You can always reach out to me. I only dog on your game because you're kind of screwing it up. <laughs> like, I play really good games all the time, and I'm really happy to talk about them. But, man, I was so hyped for Blood Bowl. And for it to just, like, turn into the, like, this pu puddle of just mashed potatoes is just, like, so dumb, dude. Like, like in Company of Heroes 3, man. What are these two guys? Are they talking to each other? Like, hey, let's sabotage the strategy gaming industry. Yeah, man, let's sabotage it. And they're like, and Paradox is over there. Like, what are you guys doing, dude? Let's just make a good game. Well, I mean, let's not give them too much credit. Anyway, yeah, man. So FOMO, obviously, free cosmetics, battle pass, 50 levels. You got to grind it. So when you get off work or school and you want to play an hour of Blood Bowl, you're no longer playing for fun. I mean, no one was playing this for fun anyway. Um, You're no longer playing for fun. So do your dailies, do your weeklies. And just punch that Blood Bowl clock, man, because here come the lizard men. I guess we're all going to be playing with them on the 22nd. I'll see you guys then. I'm so glad we got an official announcement. I'm so glad I follow all your social media, Cyanide. Thank you for that. Um, that's really, really important to me that I follow those and I didn't have to go to like six cross posts over on Reddit or, you know, waste my time on Twitter. I don't even know how I found this post. Oh, I went into Steam and it said June 22nd. Ste you see, even Steam is like, you guys got to make an announcement before this gets out of control over there at Cyanide. Because apparently you forgot to inform everyone else. Or maybe they all forgot to inform you. Either way, check your calendar in your Outlook or your board or contact your project manager and be like, hey guys, are we out of sync? Anyway, I look forward to my next Blood Bowl video where I can complain for like 10 minutes about them just breaking everything. So that's it, guys. Peace.